What's up, Auto Nation? I got an incredible guest to y'all this week. You see the shirt, this man is a CEO, started his own business out of nothing really, correct? Yep, definitely. I want to introduce y'all, Marcus Rose. What's going on, man? Man, nothing much. Nothing much, glad to be here. All right, all right. Now you come from the way of Marshall. Yep. Marshall, Texas. Yes, sir, home of the Mavericks. Okay, okay. Uh, what year did you graduate high school? 2007. 2007. Oh, that's a long seven. Okay, I graduated in 04, so you're right okay. there with me. Okay. Uh, not for Marshall, Chapel Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, what was it like going up in Marshall, man? Man, <laughs> Marshall is an interesting little town, man. Uh, How so? Um, first of all, you know, like the way Marshall is kind of made up, you know, <clears throat> the inner city is kind of like right there. So like you have four four major thoroughfares, like four major highways, or right. whatever you want to call it. And kind of everything is kind of grouped urban, I'll say urban right. inside of those uh four major four major roads. And uh I kind of live, you know, on the on the outskirts of I think, man, a lot of people, if you didn't ride the bus with me, like you probably didn't even know where I live, uh, so like I, I would say, like I wouldn't say like Marshall is hood, but like most of your lower to middle class, there's really no upper class, in, in, you know, at Marshall. Marshall. So, and you know, I'm not, and my family are not originally from him, from Marshall. Uh, my mother's from Atlanta, Georgia, and my dad's from Fort Worth. So like. My grandparents lived across the street for me, from me for a few years, and then they moved back to Atlanta. Uh, my cousins lived with me for a little while, uh, and they kind of moved around, did their own thing. Um, my brothers and stuff lived with us for for a little while, and which I mean, they're like, you know, they're older than me. They're like You're in the their thirties. I'm the baby. I'm the baby baby. So of uh, like the first group. Now you know we we got kids and. And, and stuff now and great grands and stuff like that but I was always the baby um so like I never had the cousins at school to relate to so like for for the most part in school man I kind of felt like the outcast you know like I was kind of the kid that like to sit back and just draw in class and I was always known to be like real creative uh, but man, I stayed in a lot of trouble, man. I was a, uh, anybody who know me will probably tell you like, oh, the dude he is today, like he wasn't that in, in school. And I think, you know, as we grow and, and we mature and we understand life, um, I never felt any connections. Like I never felt a place in Marshall where I fit. Or where you where, belong. Or where I belong. Like, you know, everybody had families or brothers and sisters that they went to school with. Oh uh, man, I see people now that I went to school with. I didn't even know they were brothers and sisters. They had brothers and sisters in school, you know? Right, so like, right, right. I never found my lane in school. So like, everybody would tell you like, man, Marshall is like a retirement town. You know, there's no major jobs, no major industries there. So like, everybody's just kind of like, get out of Marshall, get out of Marshall, get right. out of Marshall. So uh, like growing up, it was like, son, one thing you need to do, Get a job, go to college, just the military, and get out of Marshall. Like, and anybody can tell you who lives in Marshall, man. Marshall is kind of like a trap, bro. Uh, and I made my way out. You know, I, I found my way out of the maze by way of the the Navy. Uh, if y'all follow my social media, I know that I'm having some issues with my mother, and I needed the air duct clean because this is what he specializes in. And um, it's been kind of crazy with, with the only parent that I have. And he came, gave me a consultation, was a man of his word, was very informative. I had called other cleaning services, but they were giving me the runaround. He came literally that next day. Yeah, yeah. And not only did he go up, he, un he unhugged the air vent. And I looked inside and I got a little emotional because what I saw was already new. It was yeah. it was dusty. It was Definitely. beyond dusty. Definitely. It was nasty. It yeah. was, we've been breathing that in for a long time. 
And then he called me back and he said, hey man, like I got you. And, and I, I wanna kind of thank you bro, cause like yeah, you, yeah, you've been the first you. one to kind of really, like you hungry, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just wanna get that, you know, out the way. That, sure. That's how people- For sure, I appreciate the opportunity.